Hey, 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 my mama raised a soldier. I ain't had shit. Yeah, I'm going past it. I'm a part of some madness. Have you niggas look? You know I'm spitting that crack bitch. Red dot beam, have you disappearing like magic? My mama raised a soldier. Why? I ain't had shit. Yeah, I'm going past it. I'm a part of some madness. Have you niggas look? You know I'm spitting that crack bitch. Red dot beam. Yo, it's your boy Smokers YT, aka Suck Man, aka Milk Man. We back with another video now. Before we start this video, shout out to Philly Fan Twenty One. He makes mixes. He makes very fire mixes, especially. But he made this Matisse Dabo mix that I'm currently using. That I'm going to use for the rest of the video. So shout out to him. Shout out to Philly Fan Twenty One. And y'all go subscribe. Link in description. But be but if y'all new to the channel and y'all want to join the Dome Patrol, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. But yo, let's get right into this video. Let's start off with the guys we lost in free agency first and the first person we lost is none other than alec burks a guy i wanted back on his team i was hoping we resigned alec burke but he went on to the knicks for a small deal i believe it was one it was like five million dollars for alec burke but alec burke is special if you're a new york knicks fan and you're watching this alec burke is a different breed a different breed type of score three level score alec burke is different y'all got something good in alec burks but next up another loss was wall netto probably one of the greatest point guards right now play for job but wall netto is a guy who was brett brown's favorite son you know he was his son wall netto didn't like him at all. Uh, hope he get, does good in Washington to, to prove me wrong. I mean, prove nobody wrong. But, but, well, Hall Neto, he's gone. But Kevin Durant did get waived. I meant, um, Moreo Shyock did get waived from the Sixers. Now, Moreo Shyock in this summer league campaign, he did go off even in the G League. But once he got caught up, he didn't look as NBA ready. I mean, he was getting bullied a lot sometimes, but hopefully Morale Shia gets somewhere to play, man. He's very good. But next up, we have Norvell Pell, who got wave two, who didn't make sense. We have Tony Bradley, but which I'm going to get on later too, but Norvell Pell was a guy who had that defensive presence. He was catching oops. He was blocking shots, packing shots, but hopefully Norvell can find himself a team. I really thought he was going to do very well with Doc Rivers, with that Doc Rivers system, but yo. But next up, we have... Matthias Dakota, who's a very good shooter. This is an underrated sign. This go under the radar. This went under the radar. 18.1 points per game, 4.9 rebounds, 3.9 assists, 1.0 still shooting 39% from three. Now he's not your average three-point shooter. He will split at that thing. I'm telling you, yo, trust me. If he gets minutes, he's going to he's he's going to show up. He's going to impress a lot of by if he gets minutes. But let's get into the signings. Where the first signing is Dwight Howard, which is a move I wanted since he had his days in charlotte once he left charlotte i wanted the Sixers to pick him up but we have a guy who we're not paying 104 million to be a backup but let's compare the white stats to our orphan stats where he averaged 7.5 points per game 7.3 rebounds 0.7 assists 1.1 block 72 percent from the field goal in only 18 minutes where you had our horford 11.9 points per game 6.8 rebounds 4.3 assists 0.9 blocks 45 percent and playing for 30 minutes the white when he used to play for 30 minutes Average 16 and 12. That's crazy. Dwight Howard's NBA champion, eight time All Star, five time first All NBA team, All NBA second team, second, two time All NBA third team, three time defensive player of the year, four time. You get it. I mean, you get it. Dwight Howard's like that. But next up, we have the trade where we traded Jay Rich for Seth Curry. This is a match made in heaven. We got that three point shooter. We've been needing since Reddick. Since Reddick. He's probably low-key better than Reddick. I'm, I'm not even just being biased, but he averaged 12.4 points per game, 2.3 rebounds, 1.9 assists, and shot 45% from three. 49.5 from field goal. 24 minutes. In 24 minutes, but Jay Rich, he didn't fit on his team, obviously, but 13.7 points per game, 3.2 rebounds, 2.9 assists, 34% from three, 45% from the field goal, and playing on 30 minutes per game. I mean, we're getting one of the all-time great shooters on his team. And we have guys like Steve Kerr who leads the, the percentage group. And then you have Seth Curry. Then you have Hubert Davis. And then you have Drazen Petrovic. And then you have Duncan Robinson. He's in an elite group. He's in there with the all-time greats. 
with the next trade that I hold for trade for Danny Green. Danny Green averaged 8.0 points per game, 1.3 assists, 3.3 rebounds, 1.3 steals, shooting 36% from three now. Hopefully, we can get the Toronto Danny Green. The Toronto Danny Green who played defense, who made a lot of shots, who had a respectable shot. Hopefully, Danny Green can go off with this team, honestly. But next up, we have Terrence Ferguson, 3.9 points per game, 0.9 assists, 1.3 rebounds, 0.5 steals, and 29% from three. Hope, I mean, Terrence Ferguson didn't have the role he had in 2018 where he had a, a solid rotational role off the bench and as a starter. But Terrence Ferguson is very solid for his team. Don't see him really getting minutes, but yeah. But this is the trade that I'm really not going to talk about. Tony Bradley for Zaire Smith. Zaire Smith is a bust. We all know that. Trading for Mikel Bridges, I have no time for that. Tony Bradley is a solid center, but not the center I was expecting. But the team needs. We need space creators. We need ball handling shooters for generals. Ron John Rondo, a guy I wanted on his team, did get picked up by the Hawks. Another point guard like Jeff Teague. Who got picked up by the Celtics? The Sixers' favorite, DJ Augustine, got picked up by the Bucks. So a point guard we can possibly get that's still available is Isaiah Thomas at this point. I mean, what can you lose? You know what I'm saying? What can you lose? But Ersan Ilyasova is still out there, a shooter, a big man that we can need. Cause I, I Tony Bradley's not gonna do the job for me. I, let's get a guy like Ersan Ilyasova. Obviously, I believe Dario Saric did get that contract from the Phoenix Suns, so Dario Saric is not an option no more. But we should have went for that. But Marco Bellinelli is still out there. Marco Bellinelli had that stretch with us when we went 16 and no at the at the final end of the season. Marco Bellinelli, great shooter, another guy we can tag on on this team. Kyle Korver, who still has a respectable shot in this league and shoots very well and helping. He was going. He's going to help a guy like Ben Simmons, man. He's going to help Joel Embiid. He's going to space the floor, all that. But y'all let me know how y'all feeling about this free agency right now. Y'all want us to sign. Y'all want us to go after. But to join the Dome Patrol, you have to subscribe. DOP on three. Subscribe on me. Smokes YT. We always talk to Wait, she cock back and she mop up. So I pop up. Rock a socks off. And your bitch be having my cocks off. She was lying by saying the top hard. Now she on the bitch. That is not hard. So what you be talking about? What you need is some walk art?